Hello friends, my name is Ramasu. Today we shall discuss about a topic that what is Scrum. Friend, today's topic is very interesting and very important with respect to the implementation of a Scrum for the software development projects. So let's just start. First of all, I would request to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell option as well so that many videos can reach to you. So let's just start, friend. What is basically Scrum? A Scrum is a framework uh, which supports to implement these software development projects actually which is based on the concept of agile agile says that we can implement a project using the iteration or incremental approach actually so now what actually iteration means for example let's suppose that you are implementing an e-commerce solution which has 40 tasks for example so what you can do you can take the 10 tasks first which will become an iteration one which has in which we have to do the plan build test and review review means that you have to review it with customer that all the things are okay and you can ship it and close the iteration one so this is the iteration one for the uh, first 10 tasks then iteration two that means you again do the plan build test and review for the next 10 tasks okay then iteration 3 it will again plan build test and review for the next 10 tasks then until you reach at iteration 4 it will contain all the 40 tasks and you again have to do the plan build review, test and review and till you reach at iteration 4 you will complete all the 40 tasks for the e-commerce solution and with each iteration your product is becoming more mature you are getting the feedback from the customer and you are using the adaptability approach of the scrum that you are incorporating customer feedback from the from the iteration one till iteration four and your uh, product is becoming more and more mature and you will complete all the uh, all the complete task of 40 tasks for the uh, e-commerce solution so this is basically the concept of a scrum each sprint each each iteration is basically called as sprint in the concept of the scrum framework okay so that is the main concept of the scrum framework now scrum is a framework within which people can address complex adaptive problems while productivity and creativity delivering products of the highest possible value a scrum promotes developing products through process techniques and practices with iteration in increments to deliver maximum value iterations are called sprints and at the end of each sprint you have the launch of potentially deliverable software a scrum follows the agile or incremental approach to tackle the complex problems in the scrum we have mainly three roles uh, product owner Product owner is a person who has the bright ideas, who is basically a person who knows what needs to be developed in the product. He has a complete visibility about the requirements of the product. Scrum master is another role who is basically a facilitator for the scrum team or the product owner. He has the complete knowledge about the scrum framework. A scrum methodology and the industry best practices for implementation of the a scrum he will make sure that whatever the problems issues are coming he will be resolving those for the scrum team and he will make sure that all the best practices of the scrum framework should be implemented then the scrum team or the development team development team is the last role or third role of the scrum uh, this is the role this these are the persons like the software engineers uh, graphic designers, uh, the deployment engineers, QA engineers, database engineers. So this is the development team actually for the software. And uh, they are basically self-organized, self-motivated. They are taking their own decisions. They are planning the things. They are organizing their by, by themselves and they are self-motivated team to develop the software. So let's take as an example to understand the concept of a scrum here. For example, suppose uh, there is a number of people in a room and they have to queue up according to their respective heights, taking maximum amount of the time possible. Okay, so just take as an, a problem or the requirement here. Now, if we take the traditional or uh, the waterfall approach 
or the traditional approach in which there is one supervisor okay you can think of this as a boss of the company and uh, what he can do uh, he will take his own decision and he will instruct the people to queue up in the line as per his own uh, consent as per his own knowledge okay in this way actually there is no uh, right or there is no possibility for any person in the room to ask from the boss that why what action he is taking they have to follow they have to follow the instruction properly whatever the supervisor is saying in that way actually there is uh, no uh, freedom of thought for the people in the room actually okay so this is the supervisory approach or you can say the boss approach here now when uh, let's talk about the agile approach or at which the scrum framework based on here uh, is the role of a scrum master the scrum master allows a team to self organize and make changes quickly he or she facilitate the agile principles the scrum master manage the process for how information is exchanged so in this way actually a scrum master allows the team member to queue up their own knowledge okay and in the last if there is any requirement he will make some changes as per his best practice industry best practices and here what happened actually here the team members have their own thoughts they have the freedom of uh, uh, saying they have the freedom of asking and uh, the people will also think that they have some opportunity to uh, use their mind and their thoughts as well so this is the basically the concept of a scrum master or you can say the approach of agile here actually then uh, friend there are few uh, misconceptions and uh, uh, wrong concepts about the scrum master here the scrum master is not a supervisor basically the scrum master is totally a different role as per the traditional approach of a boss or supervisor here basically scrum master is a a uh, facilitator but he is ha having the complete knowledge about the scrum framework and he will make sure that the team follows the best practices of the uh, industry standard to implement the scrum framework the scrum master is not a secretary basically many people think that uh, the scrum master is just a ordinary uh, secretary who is just following the instruction whatever the product owner is saying this is wrong concept he is not a secretary he is basically a person who is a uh, the uh, he is basically a person who is self organized he is a person who is implementing the project using the best practices industry best practices of a scrum framework self uh, organization does not mean the absence of management that means that many people think that whenever we talk about self organized that means there is no management whatever the persons are saying they are taking their own decision there is no supervisory role is there basically this is a wrong concept about uh, scrum this is not true that self organization means there is no supervision or there is no management self organization means that everyone will take their own responsibility they are uh, self organized they they are self uh, organized to take their role to complete the project properly so everyone is there taking the responsibility by themselves and they are responsible for their own action and they have to complete the project on time as well so uh, friend thank you thanks a lot for uh, watching the video i hope uh, you like this video if you like it please uh, share it with your friends and colleagues and thanks a lot for watching the video thank you friends